mathematics and the, today is a very important question. There is a very important property that is often skipped by students when doing logarithms and usually it catches up to them while they are, they are doing differentiation or integration. I am first going to show the property to you then we are going to move on to the question. So the property I am talking about is if you have e raised to power of ln of something, uh, that thing is the final answer. So if you have e raised to power ln of e raised to power ln of three, the final answer would be three. Uh, but there's just one thing that you have to be a little bit careful about that you cannot have a coefficient behind the log term. So if you have e raised to power uh, two log three, now you cannot apply that property right now. Uh, what you have to do first is you have to bring this to in the new, uh, into the power and you will write e raised to power ln of, we know three squared will become nine and the final answer would become nine. So this is a property that is uh, not very much used while we're doing logarithms and it is often tested with differentiation or integration question. So let's, uh, let's start with this question. Uh, the question is that you have e raised to power two x over one plus e raised to power two x you have to show that when log, x is equals to log of 3, dy by dx will become 9 over 50. So first of all, let's start by the basic differentiation. And we can see it's a quotient rule. So it's a friction. I'm going to apply the quotient rule. So the denominator would become 1 plus e raised to power 2x whole square. The numerator would stay e 1 plus e raised to power 2x, uh, so this is the denominator, times differentiation of the numerator, and that would be 2 times e raised to power 2x, and then we subtract minus e raised to power 2x will stay as it is, and we differentiate the denominator. Uh, so this would be 1 would go 0, and 2 e raised to power 2x would be differentiation over here as well. Now I'm going to take a common in the numerator. So dy by dx will become our 2 e raised to power 2x will get taken common. You will have e raised to power 2x plus 1 minus e raised to power 2x divided by 1 plus e raised to power 2x whole squared. Now you guys can see that the two, these two terms are getting cancelled out. So e raised to power 2x minus e raised to power 2x would go away. And we will have uh, only 2 e raised to power 2x. So dy by dx will be equal to 2 e raised to power 2x over 1 plus e raised to power 2x whole squared. Now, I have to plug in the value of x as log of 3, and I have to show the exact value. So let's use this property first of all, and put x is equal to log of 3. So I will have e raised to power 2x, and for e raised to power 2x, it will become e raised to power 2 log of 3. And as I have just shown in the beginning of the video, what will happen is this 2 will go to the power. So this will become 3 squared. It will become e raised to power log of 9. And we will use this property and the final answer would be 9. So we can reduce from here that e raised to power 2x is going to be 9 over here. So if we plug in that value over here, this will become 2 times 9 upon 1 plus 9 whole squared. So this would be 18 divided by 1 plus 9 would be a 10. This would square to 100. And now if you simplify, this would become 9 over 50. Now, this question gets very tricky for people who are not familiar with this property because they are fine with differentiation. They're all right with that idea. They just get a lot of trouble when they are trying to 
pull, plug in the value for x that is log of 3 and for the exact value they do struggle a lot. So I hope this video has increased some of your knowledge. If you like this video do share it with your friends, do share it with people who might not have known this fact beforehand. If you have any suggestions, any requests you can send them to us in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, goodbye.